and let the one who has no sword sell his cloak and buy one. All right, I wanted to go over iron sights today. Um, there's all kind of options as far as sighting. Uh, you know, you've got your optics, your red dots, your lasers. Uh, but there's a lot of you that are uh, more old school like I am. You like the iron sights. Um, I have actually went back to the iron sights. I went to the optics um, and then I decided to go back to the iron sights. Uh, and I've been having a lot of uh, uh, what was going on was I was having trouble with my eyesight. So that's why I went to the optics. Hey, we want to take a second just to let you know that we offer concealed weapons classes in South Carolina. We are in Anderson, South Carolina. So if you're local to us, check us out at defensetraining.org. Uh, we also offer other training as well. You can check that out again, uh, defensetraining.org. Um, also, we make holsters. We have uh, custom holsters that we make, uh, so you can go check those holsters out. Uh, they are ambidextrous and both inside and outside the waistband holsters. Uh, they are made of Kydex. They have a lifetime guarantee and a 60-day uh, money-back guarantee. So check those out at defensetraining.org backslash holsters. All right, back to the video. Uh, but I have since then went back to iron sights and there's a couple of tips if you have um, uh, your eyesight's going, you're getting older, or you just haven't had great eyesight all your life. Um, like my wife, she got uh, glasses when she was young. I did not have to get glasses until I was in my 40s. Um, so a few things. We have a, a few stock sights here. Uh, and the worst of the stock sights is going to be this one basically. Um, I do not like um, the nothing here because uh, it's hard for me to pick up on uh, especially uh, now that I have to wear glasses um, this is just hard for me to pick up and I do like the little uh, serrations here they block down the sunlight and all that stuff off the back uh, and then you've got it it's a decent size front sight so that's not bad uh, but this is hard for me to see <coughs> the Glock is probably one of the better ones out there uh, for me to see, but it's still a little hard for me to pick up on uh, the stock sights anyway. Um, the um, Hellcat as well has the more of the U back here, uh, and it's fairly easy to pick up on, uh, but it's still not super easy. Uh, and then these sights, these are your standard three dots right there. Uh, these aren't horrible, uh, but there's a couple ways, a few things you can do. Uh, you know, you can get your uh, true glows, your iridiums, there's all kind. Uh, but one of the things that I have found, there's two sites that I have found. Uh, and if you see the Amerigo here, this is what I'm running on my Glock right now. Um, they're extra large heights, so they're taller. Uh, and for me, getting them off the gun is easier for me to come in. I can pick up on that front sight and just mesh it in, just like that. Uh, and I don't have to go that far back, but I can see that sight and then bring it up. Uh, this is just easier for me to pick up on. Um, so if you're having a hard time seeing and all that, uh, and these are the uh, nighttime, the iridiums. Um, they've got that iridium gas or whatever in it, uh, and, it and it does glow at night. So once you let it sit out a while, it will glow at night. Uh, but this is just easier for me to pick up on. So that's one thing you can do if you're having trouble, uh, especially with these lower sights here. You might be having trouble picking up with the lower sights, but you grab that taller sight on there, and it should, you just pick up on that tall sight, because it kind of sits off by itself, and then I can come up to it, uh, and I can sight in on this. Uh, another sight that I was running for a while, uh, and this is still a really good sight, I like it, it is a big sight, uh, and then you just throw these up here, and then you would line them up. Uh, this is what you call speed sights, and they only make these for so many models. Uh, the Glock is one of them. I believe they make them for SIG, Walther, and a couple others. Uh, but for a close quarter combat sight, these are excellent. Um, I went back away from that because I was getting some distant shots. Now I will tell you that the tip right here is the impact point. Um, right in there, that's your impact point. Uh, not actually behind the full green, but the tip. Uh, but it doesn't really matter that much at, you know, five seven yards it depends on when you get back to 20 30 yards that's when you're going to start or when i started having problems with it was 20 to 30 yards to where this site's a lot smaller um, and i was able to get a lot more accuracy out of this site um, so that's just a few things again uh, these are speed what they call speed sites um, so that's one way to go um, you can look at that or the taller uh, extra large sights or the uh, suppressor height sights or 
Um, third co-witness sites, they're just taller sites, which this is what these would be, would be more of the third co-witness sites. Um, you could run these as suppressor heights as well, I believe. Uh, but they're taller and it just gets it off that gun. So when I come in, uh, for me, I can just, you know, I can, I can pick up on this real easy and then come in. It's, it's just easier for me. Uh, so that's a few things you can think about if your eyesight's going, if you have to wear glasses. Um, <clears throat> a couple other things to think about if your eyesight's going. Uh, without my glasses, I cannot pick up on these sights. This is too short. Uh, I have to run a longer gun, so I had to go to um, either like the Glock 19 or this is the TH9 or the G3 or the Taurus. Uh, the Glock 17 would work. Uh, the uh, Taurus G3Cs do not work. They're about an inch too short uh, for my eyes to be able to focus in on my front sight. Um, so that's a couple things you might be wanting to do too. So if you've got uh, you know, a smaller micro gun, this is the GX4, the Taurus, um, and you're not able to focus on this gun. It may be um, not just the sights, but it may be that it's just too close to you. Uh, and if you got a longer barrel, uh, you may be able to focus on that. So that's the thing to think, uh, to consider as well, because that's things that I have run into. Uh, I used to carry a smaller gun predominantly. Uh, however, I can't anymore because I can't uh, count on being able to being able to always have my glasses on. You know, if you get in that fist fight or scuffle, your glasses are gonna fall off, uh, more than likely. Uh, and then I can't count on being able to focus if I back off, this guy's pulled a knife, because I can see fine uh, after, uh, you know, a, few, a couple of feet off of me, I can see fine. Uh, it's just uh, up close and reading, I really have to have them. Uh, but if I don't have my glasses on, I can't focus on this. If my glasses get knocked off, I can focus on the further out. Uh, and the Glock 19 uh, is the perfect link, basically. It's right before where my focus goes out. Um, so that's things to consider as well. Maybe you're not able to focus on it, and it could just be because the gun's too short. Um, I know you like uh, convenience of the gun. However, uh, there are things that we have to uh, adapt and overcome, and we just have to deal with. Uh, you may have to go to a longer gun. Um, you know, and you can get all the ones. Uh, you can get the longer barrels, shorter grips, you can do all that uh, depending on the models. And there's a lot of models that do that. Uh, we even have you know, the shorter grip here, uh, but still have the long barrel. So that's things you could uh, think about as well. Uh, guys, I'm just trying to throw some tips and suggestions out, especially your iron sight guys uh, that don't want to go to the optics. Uh, that's too new school for you. Um, optics are great, but uh, a lot of times you just want to stick with those iron sights and uh, I understand what you, where you're at. Uh, but those are things to consider. You've got your speed sights, you've got your suppressor uh, height sights or your tall sights uh, that you can think about. Your longer um, slide basically that sits your sights on there that helps you get that focus in there. Uh, for those of you that can't see close up like me, uh, but we can see a couple feet off of us, we can see fine. Uh, and that's where I'm at right now. Um, guys, this is Spence with Defense Training. Stay safe, stay armed. Please like, subscribe, and comment on this video below. Thanks.